Hey guys, so today I'm just, I was cleaning up through my Nespresso coffee pot and I'm thinking to organize and just taking the stock, looking at what new capsules to order. So I thought I'll bring you along through this whole process and I'll show you some of my favorite pots that I'm definitely going to repurchase as well as some of the pots that I won't be buying again. So let's get started. Yes, here are all the boxes that I currently own of Nespresso coffee pots. These are capsules for the original um, coffee machine. I also have been using the Ely Nespresso pods. I'll let you know what I think about this later on. So uh, here I have organized them by intensity. So starting from the most intense, this is level 13 and all the way down to level 4. So it took me quite a while to decide the order of these top 10 espresso capsules. Uh, this is all based on my own judgment and how I enjoy to have my coffee. I mentioned earlier that I prefer stronger uh, tasting coffees that are full body, but they are not bitter and they are not smoky. They don't have that burnt aftertaste. I'll start with the pot that it's ranked number 10 and I'll go all the way up to number one. So uh, rank number 10 is this uh, capsule. It's called the Freddo Intenso. It's the intense version of the iced coffee. So this coffee capsule is the strongest among the iced coffees that Nespresso has and it's supposed to be made for ice. So I really like this one. It has a really strong taste and I like to have it with um, it's something like an Asian style coffee when you add that sweet condensed milk and creamer and it's just divine. Number nine, uh, I don't have this capsule, I have to order it. So number nine is the Colombia. So the Colombia coffee pod, it's quite unique. I find that a lot of people either love it or hate it online. So uh, for me personally, I enjoy it. It's supposed to be a fruity coffee. The flavor profile is winey. So, to me, I think I prefer to have it as a longo, so it means longer coffee and I love to have this in the afternoon because it's not so strong, it's just an intensity 6. Uh, the next coffee, it's another longo, it's the Tokyo Vivalto longo. Um, you can check out my video on this coffee pot, I made a full review on it and uh, it's basically, just to summarize, it's a floral tasting coffee, it's a low intensity, it's supposed to be brewed as a longo and uh, I like to have it again as an afternoon coffee with more milk and I just savor it. At number seven, I think this is a pot that everyone will enjoy. I've seen a lot of people <laughs> loving this one. It's the Aspirazione Firenze Arpeggio, I believe it's called. I've seen this in hotels and the funny thing about it is that when I tried it <laughs> in hotels, I didn't like it. So uh, I think it's because um, most hotels don't offer you almond milk or any kind of milk except for creamer. So I don't like to have it with creamer. I like to have it iced. I prefer to have it iced than hot. And I think it pairs well with chocolate syrup. The next coffee pot, it's actually not an espresso pot, but it's designed to be used for an espresso machine. So this is the Ely capsule pot. I have tried all of the Ely's flavors. So they come with four different flavors. They have the uh, Forte, Intenso, Classico and the Caffeinado. You can see here there are the four coffee options. So to me I prefer the stronger two which are the Forte and the Intenso. I feel that the original or Classico it's too mild. At number five, uh, it's a capsule that I don't have currently. <laughs> I have gone out through two uh, sleeves of this. It's the vanilla one. If I had to choose a coffee that I really enjoy to have and it's something different from tasting let's say like an Ely coffee or regular coffee the vanilla one is my favorite flavored coffee pod it's it's a medium roast it's not overly strong tasting like coffee it's it just has a pleasant taste you can have it iced you, i have it with different kind of syrups and it never fails me it's a pod that i like to i keep coming back you know i keep thinking of repurchasing one capsule I mentioned before in my iced uh, videos, iced coffee videos, it's the Corto. So the Corto is part of the collection of the three coffees for milk. So this is the strongest one. It's a dark chocolatey pot. I think it's an eight intensity, so which is quite medium. Uh, but I prefer this to the Spuro, which is supposed to be the lighter version of this, because I feel the Spuro has an aftertaste that tastes burnt so i really hate that it lingers in your mouth and it's not something that i like so i like intense coffee but i like a clean mouth feel so 
um, that's why this is not in the top 10 but this is so i like to have this one with obviously with milk uh, i also like to have it iced or as a morning coffee because it tastes quite intense and vibrant and it can really wake up your senses number three is the venezia so the venezia capsule the table profile it's supposed to be caramel notes uh, it's an intensity number eight i think a lot of people will like it even though you don't like super intense coffees again pairs well with ice with milk i always have it as an espresso and it's one of my top three um, because i keep reordering this for some reason you know I, I just keep thinking of the venezia now at number two this is the most difficult decision to make um i actually placed inspirazione Cazar. so this is the dark blue coffee pod it's intense it has a strong flavor so if you're not into intense coffee i think you will like it it's an intensity number 12 so 13 is the most intense but i prefer this one 13 i feel it tastes quite burnt and this doesn't have a bitter aftertaste it doesn't taste burnt so if i were to compare it with sorry the arpeggio <laughs> so the purple one even though it's intensity 9 it's more bitter than the intensity number 12 which i can't explain it if I'm to be honest, this is my most used coffee capsule so far. Now to my number one. So this might not surprise you. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I love this capsule. It's the black pod and it's called the uh, Inspirazione Ristretto. This one you're supposed to drink it as a ristretto, which is a shorter shot than the espresso or as an espresso. For me, I always like to drink it as an espresso. I don't feel it's bitter. It's just a well-balanced, well-rounded, it's not a mild coffee it's an intensity 10 i believe i think it's perfect i just cannot find anything to improve to this one so uh, i also like to have it iced i like to do a ristretto also sometimes i will do a double shot of ristretto and when i feel to have a shorter coffee or i do double pod if i want to have it iced so uh there's not much more i can tell you it's just that it's my favorite so yeah these are my favorite top 10 espresso coffee pods let me know if you have tried this do you agree with my top 10 or what else should i include in the list mm, yummy so if you like this video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment what's your favorite way to have your coffee um this recipe is going to be linked in the description follow me for more videos bye